they want it, but they don't really want it. Don't really want it. Dribble no, dribble no warning. They don't see it coming. Don't see it coming. Handle my, handle my business. Get the fuck out the way. All of my, all of my lane. Get the fuck out my space. 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 Get
I'm sure what you're seeing. How can you prove like, on the back side of that money? It said for for promotional use only. So not sure what you saw, but and even that might be a motherfucking violation. But yet and still, we get back to the point of this whole shit. As my man Ant uh, from Urban Politics, Urban Politicians, uh, make sure you go check out his channel. He said that if this wasn't Kevin Gates, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Nobody gives a fuck about anything else. You know what I'm saying? But anything that Kevin Gates does is shot to the top. Anything that NBA Youngboy does is shot to the top. Um, T.I., Kodak Black, is just, it's a part of the rap trap. Um, you come from a place, that's why you can't do both. Can't be in the streets and doing the music shit. Uh, because it's the night and day dynamic. Um, the night would be being a street nigga, you go out of your way not to be seen, even though we do shit in the street, get the loud ass call, Balenciaga, Gucci everywhere, make sure we dripping and shit like that so we look like money in the street. What you're supposed to do in the street, so that, that's why it's so easy to become a rapper from the streets because you already pretty much doing what rappers do. Shining, flossing, bitches, you know what I'm saying, like shit, these niggas rapping about my life anyway, I might as well be the one to rap the shit. And that's really where the shit got fucked up at. Especially in the South, because let's just say it, the South wasn't known. It's what it is. The South wasn't known for lyricism, and then we had Good and Mob, Outkast, so on and so forth. Like, nigga, we rap too. But we're known for, and, and you know, it's not cool. Nowhere now, nowhere now is it cool to be a lyricist. You'll find little pockets here and there and shit like that. But for the most parts, the simpler, the better. So, who better to be a rapper than someone who, and see that's, dog, we, we are being captured and, and mimicked in so many different fucking ways. It's amazing. Um, they took um, our street model and monetized it. When you think about um, what clout really is, what clout really was before it got came back around like fashion every 20 years, bringing back all the old shit. What clout really was was I, I can walk through the club, I can walk through the city, I can walk through the streets, and nobody fuck with me because I got clout. Deuce, deuce here, and everybody stand down. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, that's clout. Whether it be off your name or nigga, you know who that is? That, that's Bubba son. That's Bubba brother. Oh, my fault, man. I ain't mean no disrespect. That's what Clock was. Um, and they took that fucking model and monetized it to where now Clout is a number of followers. You know who that is? That nigga got a million fucking followers. Oh shit, my fault. Hey man, I wanna do business with you. Games, just everything that you see in the street. We do it, and it, it, I guess it's from the beginning of time. I guess we've always, as the black man, as black people, we've always given to them, and they, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, dog, like, when a nigga is on that type of trip, and up in this atmosphere of being already on. Nine times, nine times out of ten, you're not going to reach the motherfucker. Because motherfucker is just too far fucking out there. And he's surrounding himself. He's a, you got to understand that too. Motherfuckers have already ran through um, old friends, managers, Road assistance and shit like that. Very seldom the motherfucker, I'm still here with my day ones. Very fucking seldom does that actually take place that you still friends with motherfuckers that you was on the ground with because this business has a way of um, throwing obstacles that put 
everybody in weird positions. And as as a nigga on the side of the man, um, you gonna have these fucking situations where um, yo um, you you keep. You keep hearing, oh, that's got it you, from your city, from your home. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's Gates' home, boy. That's Gates. Uh, uh, that's 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 got it. That's that's Kodak Black home. They 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 never give you a name. It's that's this person's. You know what I'm saying? And and that's so easily compared to that's what's the name, bitch. And uh, you know, just that that that, especially with black men, like. Well, men in general, like, we just, you know, I'm my own man, nigga, before anything, nigga, I'm my own motherfucking man, dog. Even though, no matter what fucking job you have, you know, that's a Whataburger worker, that's a Walmart worker, that's a fucking, that's usually how you're identified. Actually, no, it's not. Actually, no, it's not. Unless you have a good job, then, oh, that nigga work on a boat. That nigga truck driver. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's trying to figure out why the fuck you up. And it's just, it's the fuck off. This, 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 the, the thought of it, but there's going to be obstacles that make it extremely hard for you to have a long, strong relationship with anybody. Anybody. Y'all, this word relationship, you need to understand what it means. It doesn't just mean we go together. The brother and the son, I'm the brother and the son. The brother and the son, uncle, uncle, nephew, mother, son, mother, daughter, grandma, grandson, you know, just all these things are relationships. So because of how you're bounced around, and I've said this once before, um, this game does to a man's soul what boxing does to a man's brain or to a man's body, uh, what football does to a man's body. You just get thrown up against the rock. That's why it's so easy to be unhealthy. Um, you have to go above and beyond in order to be healthy. You know what I'm saying? On the road, moving around, and nobody gives a fuck what you did at that radio station. We want you to do the same thing here because I just told uh, D yesterday, um, who we were talking about an artist uh, wanted me to come to the, and this is a, a, a common thing now. Uh, artists wanted me to be in their videos. Um, uh, hey, I got a video shoot. Hey man, I'm, I'm shooting my um, I'm shooting this. Hey man, uh, we do an interview. Hey man, uh, because and I, I'm, I'm, it doesn't matter. And that's why speaking to Katrina, make sure you go to uh, conversation when we podcast. Um, I, I, I do have a heart. I got a, kind of a big heart. If you doing some outside of going to work, I respect that so much. I don't care if I see potential in you, I'm going to give you an opportunity, I'm gonna give you a chance. Um, that's on my choice. Of course, um, it's going, you should never look for me to do something for you for free. It's, at the end of the day, it's business. But if I see potential in someone, I may just come out of nowhere like, hey, you know what I'm saying, what are you, what are you doing? And shit like that. And how far I go with that person will depend on how open they are to my scrutiny and how blatantly honest I am when I say like that shit's not gonna work. No one gives a fuck about you. But you're gonna be honest with you because that's that's the world and that's especially with this industry. But talking to her like, you know, um, you know, like she said, God bless your heart, because I continue to try to give people chances and opportunities, but Within this shit, you you bump into so many people, and and you you being um, forever combining with people's spirits, and so easy, you know. It just it just it's it's something that you know it's hard to explain if you're not in this shit, and if you're not trying to be in this entertainment business, it's, it's really hard to explain because. You don't, you know, back to what I was saying, I see somebody trying to do something outside of the norm. I'm like, hey, man, I, I feel your pain. I feel your pain, so 
let me try to see if I can help a little bit. But a lot of times that shit turns into a fucking clusterfuck because now they want more. And it's like, dog, what I did for you for free, that was worth $5,000. There are people that, that are paying me money to do what I did for you for free. And you squandered it. That's worth, you squandered the shit, like you squandered the shit. And so easily those lines get crossed because a fan of Kevin Gates, as soon as Kevin Gates is just meeting this person, but to the fan, it's like, dog, I know everything about you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like we're already friends and shit like that. So now a person says, hey, Kevin, um, why don't you come to my video shoot or some shit like that? Like, oh, hold on. I tell people the same thing every time they ask that because it, it's, I guess they don't understand. It's like, okay, hey, to them it's like, oh, no, it, this ain't about no business. I just, I'm just inviting all, all my people, all the people I fuck with. Just like when the people send me these chain messages about, oh, man, uh, if, if ain't nobody told you, you my nigga. You know the, the video message they send the fucking inbox? Dog, you my nigga. If, if you fuck with somebody, send them this message and shit like that. And they be I, I, I don't do shit like that. But so it's kind of like that. So I'm just I'm just hollering at you because I want my friends to be there. Dog. I appreciate you looking at me like that. But you should really look at me like a mentor type person, um, because at least in that sense, you you need to you need to. And it's and it's hard. That's what I'm saying. It's hard to do. Once you open that door and done some kind for somebody, they look at you like, oh, but it's like, and so now when I tell you, no, I can't not, or oh, when I tell you like, okay, if I do that, I'm going to have to charge you. And they might, I might feel uncomfortable telling you I got to charge you. So I say, no, nah, I'm just not going to, because at the end of the day, if you do a video with me in it, is what I'm telling Remedy, I'm saying, you do a video with me, you're not just going to put that shit up and not say, even if you don't post it in the title, feature Ayo Canseco, somebody gonna say, oh shit, Ayo Canseco, just like an artist will put a comedian in their rap video so that people, it gets, oh, look, who the fuck is in it? So, back to what I'm telling Brim D, I am my brand. I am. So, wherever I go, I, I'm that. Like, this is, I've made it to where I've built some shit from the dirt. I've built some shit around me to where all I have to do is be there now. And now this shit goes up. If future comes, like, so, a radio station trying to get up off the ground, they get an interview with free future, that sent them through the roof, they co sign. Now it's another radio station. They, dog, you, you have no idea how much that will mean to a fucking, you know, a up and coming podcast, blog, blog, whatever the fuck, radio, whatever the fuck. To have just him being there, not him ha actually doing shit, just him being there, his presence. His brand is him. It's different than having a product like you you sell. Uh, shout to uh, E. T. Washington. He has uh, something called Bougie Snacks. Um, it's a um, alcohol infused fruits, and um, that's his product. So it doesn't matter if they know who the fuck E. T. Washington is. Look, know what Bougie Snacks is and good shit to eat. Um, just like anything you eat, the, um, Mac Double, you don't have to know who the fuck make, uh, Walt, or whatever the fuck the nigga name is, over McDonald's. You don't gotta know that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's about my product. In this entertainment shit, most times, you are your fucking product. You are that Mac Double. You are the bougie snacks. So, people want your product, which is you. This is why my, my mother um, always looked at this, the music shit, as me pimping myself. Because that's exactly what you're doing. Putting yourself here, putting yourself there. You know what I'm saying? And, um, dog, people, if a if future tell a radio station, hey, I, I'm a, uh, yeah, I'm a fuck with y'all, man. I like what y'all doing. He might just say, like, man, you know, just just out of love, like, I'm, I want to help as much as I can, whatever. Yeah, 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 you might just call him on a good day. So, yeah, I'll come down there next month. Dog, do you know that radio station going to promote the fuck out of this fucking situation? It, they going to they gonna change their whole business model around this fucking day. Buy different shit, put flyers out, all kind of shit. And then, but they don't understand it. 
this nigga's been doing two shows a day for the last 30 days, so maybe on that day he can't come because he is his brand. There's no way, you know, um, what I'm gonna say is there's no way that you can substitute what he, he has to be there, is him. Boosie, uh, back in the day of the rumor that Boosie had a impersonator going to the shows acting like him. All they gotta do is fucking do the songs. You know what I'm saying? So why not? I think it was a good idea, but that's that's what it is. Like, you have to be there, and that's what this shit is. And what I'm saying is, I'm getting back to the point of that shit can fuck up any, anybody's head. Like, that celebrity, that people want me, people like me, and that shit can fuck anybody, period, point blank, period. You're gonna start, talk, you're gonna start talking different because now you know you have an audience. And what I'm trying to tell you is that Once an artist is at the level of Kevin Gates, what I'm saying, he'll have so many people telling him wise bullshit that by the time it hit his ears, it don't matter if he's like, that's actually that shit really spoke. That nigga actually just told me exactly what I was doing. But all these fucking, and that's why you just can't have yes men around you, but it's hard not to have yes men around you because the people who will keep it real, it's going to be hard for them. It's going to be hard for you and them. It's going to be hard for you to detect whether or not they hate you because it is, uh, you have to understand, there is going to be a morsel of jealousy, period, point blank. There is going to be a morsel of jealousy in anyone who's close to you that you've known from the dirt, period. If they do the same thing you do, there's not a doubt at all. It, it, it might be a lot more than a morsel. But just from a person being, just from a person knowing you from the dirt and now that you didn't came the fuck up, I don't want the fame. I ain't with the fame. Listen to me. They're walking around with you every day seeing what your fame does and all that shit like that. Of course, they may see some bad parts of it, but trust me. Seeing what your face itself, no talking. That's really what most niggas want. A lot of niggas start rapping so that they don't have to talk to hoes. And, and it's, it's two sides of that too. And I don't know if I got enough time um, to explain the two sides of that. Let's take me. I, uh, me doing music. Once I get on, I ain't going to have to have as much game as I got with the hoes that, you know what I'm saying, me and my homeboy used to call it hopping. We'd go places and we'd hop. It's hop on hoes. Um, and like we always did it. She was always talking to bitches and shit like that. Yeah, sometimes you reject it, you get love and shit like that. But once you get on, you don't gotta even talk no more. And that's a luxury that anybody who actually talks to bitches and, and likes to, you know what I'm saying, likes to hunt, like to fuck with new hoes, they would love to have that. Now, I, I imagine that could get boring too, though. Not having to use your mouthpiece or your mind at all. But see, it's some niggas who never talk to bitches. These are the internet niggas. I'm going to be a rapper. All girls love rappers. Now you're automatically cool. Everything you say is, ah, you could be musty like a, a, it's a, a nigga named Fat Nick. Some white dude, just a fucking, just riff rap 2019. Obviously, fucking uh, caricature. Um, obviously, um, making fun of us, and he he looks disgusting. But because he's successful in some fucking way, in some fashion, in fucking rap music, somewhere with white people, the hoes will come around and they'll look over that because success itself. Success itself and fame itself is attractive. Just the fact that I've seen Whoopi Goldberg, you know what I'm saying, so much makes her less ugly than if I seen somebody that looked like Whoopi Goldberg that I don't know. Ooh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but main point was um, come a rapper easy to get holes um the people around you being jealous there's no way for them not to be jealous um i want to be the nigga who can just walk up to a bitch when i go up to a whole a whole look she might see the little chain that you got me 
You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, and it, see, BWA. Oh, you know Kevin Gates, because that's a real BWA chain. But it's not you, you. No, it's you with Kevin Gates. You know what I'm saying? That shit's going to get old, period. And that's why I, I always have to keep my eyes open and vigilant, because I'm aware of this. You know what I'm saying? As I'm trying to rise and, and get to the next level and shit like that, I have to stay forever vigilant. Because these things are inevitable. It's just what it is. It's, it's, it's just, and that's why the second S is so important. We'll just leave it like that. Um, furthermore, let's, let's go into this. I can't talk to Kevin Gates because I'm calling his bullshit. Seeing him do this type of shit says that and then to hear some of the shit he says, and you hear some of these niggas talk, and it's like, you're only saying this because you have uh, 300,000 followers on uh, fake followers on Instagram. I say they're fake because no, if, what, if you say, shit, nigga, ain't nothing wrong with licking the bitch ass out, she got toilet shit. That's your woman. That's your shit. You supposed to lick that. You supposed to love that. Mm, I love that. And you'll agree with it. And that's why I feel like those are CIA agents. Because it's like, you just want to just keep on, just keep on letting the nigga eat itself up and shit like that until they just blow the fuck up. Um, and you can get caught out there. That's why having those, and it's like, why can't our loved ones just not have that jealousy and hate in them? But that's, that's a human condition. Like, They'll keep you grounded, but then at some point, they'll try to keep you fucking grounded. Like, God damn. Because that'll be a situation where, y'all, if I fly out too fucking far and I just go too crazy, man, please tell me I'm tripping. But see, I had to already cut you off. So you was my last string to it. I'm a hot air balloon. And you was my last tie to earth. Now I'm just totally out here with the fake fucking followers and letting the media and everybody, promoters and radio station people who don't ask me no question, they just suck my dick at every interview. This is all I have now. I can do no wrong. I can't grow as a person. Resistance is how you get stronger. Um, obviously, I don't know shit about weightlifting, but uh, D does. He said, uh, they said, you're trying to tear muscle. You're trying to tear muscle, and that's how you get stronger. You know what I mean? Like, but that's that's something different. But what I'm trying to tell you is, this is um, example of Low Village. Low Village. Obviously, y'all know that I'm fucking with these people, and I'm going to because I to me it's kind of like an experiment in a way because it's like Low Village. But what I'm saying, let me say what I'm saying. Um, if you ever went to listen to Low Village's new track, it's called um, For the Children, and it caught me because it's like these is is two boys and a girl. They can rap. They have a good message. This it takes you back to '90s hip hop, where I came from. And what I, I guess what I'm trying to see is, y'all, if we want the streets, like I said, if we want the streets to control the industry once more. I think this is our chance. Go listen to Low Village. They don't just have one song. They got a whole fucking plethora of music. Go listen to them. Like, if we feel like this music is bullshit, let's fucking put something else on. But I would like to talk to a group like Low Village because they can hear. They're still at the growing, you know, Still molding themselves. Still, I, I, this is this is. I'm imagining a baby in a womb, uh, or and, and something being something being created, and you know, just going everywhere. You know, you're still you're still uh, building your your DNA strand. It's still being built. And me, as someone who identifies as being creative. I guess that's why I continuously fuck with local, independent people starting from the ground is because that's like, I'm, that's me being able to create. 
kind of like a teacher. I can mold the brains of children. Like I feel like I can see whether or not this will work. Like I told y'all on my Instagram to, earlier today. Um, I said earlier yesterday. If you want to succeed, you need to get around people who have failed. I've failed a lot at a lot of things. And through that failure, I did eventually succeed. But I'm talking even deeper. I'm talking to your uncle that's failed and shit like that. Not, of course, you don't have to, uh, you know, if he's a fuck up, you don't, you don't have to, you shooting heroin. You don't got to be around him every day. But just listen, uncle. Especially if it's an uncle that's doing something, that did something, failed at something that you want to do. He was passionate about it. He wanted to be a welder. He wanted to be a dancer, an ice skater. If that's what the fuck you want to do, man, go find somebody who's failed at doing it. They can shave off years. Years. You know what I'm saying? Because they may have just failed at the point where they had to stop shooting heroin. But could have been perfect in every other, you know what I'm saying? Dog, for as big as addiction is, it's a very small, dog, uh, for as small as um, it seems shooting dope, you know what I'm saying, or, or smoking dope, or snoring dope, popping, whatever, for as small as it is, it's a big thing, and I mean, I don't know what I said, it's, as small as it is, it's a big thing, or as big as it is, it's a small thing, it's so many people that have, dog, they were good, Basketball, just name a fucking field. And I can show you someone who was good in every way in that field. They just could not stop doing drugs. So if you go look at all these failed people and shit like that, it wasn't just because they wasn't good enough. It was just something in their mind that wouldn't let them give this up. They didn't want that more than they wanted this. Or well, they didn't want that more than they wanted this. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, you know, because I, I failed at things, I, I, I still have passion for it. So, I like to, you know, see someone just th those, those open eyes. Like, I, I want to I wanna do that. This, this eyes are so big and they don't know that, you know, all the snakes is out here in the forest and and all the obstacles they're gonna have to go through, it's just, I wanna do music. Before it's, I wanna make money off of music, I love making music. That, I feel like that is a solid foundation to build on. I love making music. And if you can get a person who will say that, then I think you have a solid foundation to build on. Not somebody, I'm going to get rich off this shit, bro. I know I got it, bro. I, I know I got it. all that shit like that. Because if you find somebody who's, who loves doing music, then they're going to want to get better at it. A person who's just trying to make money. As soon as I get to the point where I can make money, I'm good right there. And that'll be the difference between a... You understand? It's a one-hit wonder and an actual artist that has a catalog which people want to listen to. Okay, that, that's what a career is, having a catalog that people listen to. Um, so that's what that is. So I, I, I want to talk to an artist who is coming up. And that's why I um, I fucking hate this whenever, you know, it's a word. I implore you um, artists who you don't know what you're doing. You've been. I, I just told. Um, what's my man name? Shout out to. Um, um, still don't know how to say this shit, but uh, Fio Pacino, Fio Nine Pacino, Fio Nine Pacino, Pacino, because he. Uh, I don't think is it Fio, but Fio Pacino. Not only did he chop and screw the uh, hit song Winning Street that you hear on the Big Face podcast, and he chop and screw Don't Be a Dummy. Y'all gonna hear that shit. Uh, you might hear it before. Uh, Monday's live stream, but y'all gonna hear that shit. But uh, definitely on uh, Monday's live stream. But I was telling him today that uh, if you've been doing this shit for two years and you don't have 
5,000 followers on Instagram and you don't have a thousand subscribers on YouTube, at least a thousand subscribers on YouTube, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. When I say doing this shit, I mean actively putting out music. Because, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, on top of that shit, dog, I want to say this. Doing music and entering the music. Doing music and promoting music is two different fucking things. So you could have been, I've been doing music since I'm nine years old. Like, when did you start putting this shit out? Because when I say if you've been doing music for over two years and you ain't got, no, of course not. I'm talking about you've been actively trying to get traction. So for two years, you've been trying to make something happen, trying to make something, I'm trying, and nigga, really, I'm going to stand on that because there's so many different ways we can wrap it and run it. I'm gonna stand on that right there. And at that point, when you haven't got those, so that's something that you can put your eyes on. I ain't got this and I don't have that. And on top of that, before I, fuck the numbers, let's take the numbers off of it. From the time that you started doing it, there's no, so you're not on, so you haven't peeped out, you just stop, period. You need to holler at somebody that knows what the fuck they're doing. And if you don't know who knows what the fuck they're doing, then just do the easy thing. Look at the numbers and look at the eyes. How many eyes does this person have on them? Look at the resume. All right, uh, t give me some people that you fuck with. Talk to people. Talk to people. There's on that's the only way that you're going to find anything out is talk to people. But as long as you're still like, you know, you're going to put this shit out, bro. Good music, goes, that's what Pacino said too. I thought good music, people would, would be attracted to good music. It's not like that no more. At this point in time, the consumers, everyday people, which are, are your potential fans, are running away from music that they do not know. If I don't know who the fuck this is, get the fuck, and if it's a song I've heard, get the fuck away from me. You know what I'm saying? So if it's, a, if it's the uh, Cardi B, Vote That Yellow, let's say that. Uh, and the uh, um, J. Cole, um, Middle Child, want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear shit I've already heard, and I don't want to hear new shit. Because you ain't on yet. I don't want to even try to find out if you good or not. That's the casual listener. Not uh, a manager, promoter, another artist. No, no, no. I'm talking about the casual fucking listener. Which is the fan that's going to buy your shit. That, that just enjoy your music while they go to work. I just want to listen to music. Talk to people. When I'm dealing with an artist, because and I, because you might not be at a level where you need to fuck with me yet. Um, I can fuck with you on any level, but if you like, I, dog, if you don't have no, if you don't have no income, you're not gonna make it in this music shit no way. You're gonna have to pay people, but if you're paying a engineer and paying a videographer, and that's it. Recipe for disaster. How you gonna win? How you gonna win? Because you recorded it and you shot a video, that shit gonna pop off? How's it been working out for you? You've been recording music, you've been recording videos, you put them out, you spent a hundred on this, four hundred on this, that's five hundred dollars, and you put it out. And then you spent whatever the fuck, fifty nine ninety nine on Instagram sponsorship, and you got twelve views on this fucking video. You can put that show on Instagram and shit like that, and all your friends, so you can just pretty much count all your friends because they seen it. That don't mean they fuck with it. YouTube tells you what the fuck it is, because if, if they if you got nigga if you bragging about the views you have on Instagram. That means you popping. Ah, right, you popping. I, I'm surely you're not just telling me that you you popping on Instagram, because that would mean that you're popping by consequence. Like, um, what is it? Um, not consequent by uh by, by circumstance. In this circumstance, I'm winning, but not in real life. YouTube is real life. If you popping on YouTube, that shit will transfer. Trust me, everywhere else. But if you pop it on Instagram, it only it only results to Instagram. They're not going nowhere. You just something that they use to laugh. Why they trying to get to the next level of their life? And you're not getting paid for it. So 
you can play any way you want to play. I know I just went on a crazy fucking tangent, but that it, it's dog, it, it's it's where it's a lot of us that are lost, and we go back to Kevin Gates. You don't know what the fuck is going on, and it's a different. It's a lot of different ways to be lost. You could be in a, a, a hundred fifty thousand dollar car and still be fucking lost. Because when you come to a fucking prison. And you know, and I'm, I'm trying to think, like, and when I think about this shit again, like, I'm trying to find reasons, I'm trying to find reasons for why you would do this shit. Maybe this is, and let me get some people from Louisiana, let me know, like, is this tradition? Is this what you do to flex? Because down this bitch, that's automatic, I don't, because we don't even, like, visit like that. So, somebody let me know what that is. But back to this shit, man. Why is it in us? This and this I go back to saying, do you niggas not believe what the fuck I'm telling you? That this rap shit is a trap? That at every like that you were given this position only so you would like so they can put a big a bigger fucking target on your back to publicly fucking humiliate and destroy you what they what they want the image to be is that oh yeah we did everything to help him out but he he we just couldn't control him but you brought me here because of who I was dog I, I it's a trick it's it's a trick um I just fucking you know I watch crazy shit on um on YouTube and um it's the five, it's the five, um, five, five, five trick. You got five rolls of five. The first roll is a five. The second roll is a five, five. The third roll is a five, five, five. Fourth roll is a five. You know what I'm saying? So each roll gets that number of five. The first roll get one, second roll get two, third roll four. All right, so you got five rolls. You tell a person, you got it on a piece of paper, all right, so it's going to look like a pyramid and shit like that. You point at one of them, tell them to say the number. Five. 555. 55. Uh, 55,555. 5,555. And you do that, you just keep doing that shit. And then you ask a person, tell me the first vegetable that comes to your head. And then they'll tell you carrot or tomato. It's because in our mind, our mind... Do it, like do this shit. Get on a piece of paper and ask a person, you know, obviously someone who hasn't seen this video, ask them, like, do this shit. They know that in our mind, five represents carrots. How the fuck does that work? And this, and it proves that these people know the buttons, they've already studied the mind, they know, light years ahead of this shit they know picking a nigga from this fucking background there's no way that he's going to react to this way of living in a positive manner he's going to bring that mindset here he's not going to convert to this mindset he's going to keep that mindset bring it here and just fail there's no way that he will succeed at this fucking rate there will never be another fucking jay-z they're making sure of that. That's a whole nother story. Man. Man. I don't even want to say near name because it's just, dog, I did the fucking. I don't even know if I should say this shit. So I just I won't. But dog, this shit is real fucking deal, dog. This is real deal. This is not a fucking game. It's not a joke. We have been studied. There's not a a uh, 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 a possibility that they have not already calculated. Put you in a room, and, and so let's take it further. If if I know that uh, the number five will make you think of carrots, I'm gonna put you in this certain hotel and in this hotel room that we put you in we're gonna have it's gonna have a, a blue 
um, blue walls and the ceiling is gonna be white and it's gonna have polka dots on it. The floor is gonna be checkerboard or some shit like that or the rug is gonna be shagged because we know they're gonna take their shoes off. The static electricity is gonna do some shit and whoever we send in that room, you will not be able to uh, fight off their advances. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna send a bitch in there and we know that you won't even be able to fight the urge because this certain setting will make a nigga like you want to fuck and you won't even know why. Why in the fuck would you say carrots? I did it. It works. How the fuck do they know that? You think it just goes there like y'all eat your five carrots, all right? No, it goes deeper than that. Motherfuckers have been trying to find a way to control people's mind from the beginning of fucking time the Nazis did it and we hired the Nazis. <laughs> Research Operation Paperclip. Um What I'm trying to do here is maybe if I point out the stupidity and put it in your face, maybe it will become a little bit smarter in these situations. Like, why the fuck do I want to do that? Why is it important that I, I get high right now? Why every time I get in the car, I want to smoke a cigarette? Why can't I ride here without wanting to smoke a blunt? Why, why am I attracted to this phenotype? So much so that the artist little chicken that I'm going to do the story on that got shot. They said he died, but they said him and his son got shot. Uh, Milwaukee artist little chicken. He got tricked by a tranny because all we look at is ass twerking and a bitch turning around. I'm not going to do it. I, I just that feels way too homosexual. But you look at a whole twerking and, and the weed swinging from side to side, you can't even see the whole face. You don't need to see the whole face. And that whole doing that shit. They made us lock on to a fucking phenotype to where I'm hearing that it's niggas in Atlanta that are fucking with ni people that they know are men. But because they got the, the titties and the ass, it's all good. Like, actually letting these motherfuckers ride around in their cars and shit like that. The people in Atlanta, I guess they'll know who I'm talking about. It's become a natural thing now. Okay, niggas like this, we have to get these numbers down. Do this. Because how hard is it to get in front of a nigga's mind? Do this. This, this, this ain't even sexy, but if we make them think that it's sexy, they'll run with it. Even though it's like niggas been like big asses, like we own that shit. Will they fuck with it? And, and, it's, and it's just different and shit like that, but it's just a nigga's mind, dog. And somebody like Kevin Gates, who we would like to think is a philanthropist of sorts. Um, his theories and philosophies are kind of outlandish. Uh, he he pulled a plies when he came in, and and you know plies came in with I feel like fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like so he kind of grabbed the holes. Um, and good that he grabbed the holes because what we know about if you can garner the um, a, a women audience, period, you're gonna be paid, but. They're also gonna have you under fucking lock and key and just, they're really just waiting to cancel you. So, what Kevin Gates did, he came in and I like to eat booty. Niggas like, what the fuck up with this nigga? But the hoes ran to the shit. They accepted the shit. I say it's like the ply shit because the plies had street niggas on his side. Then he, when they got the hoes, and once you do that, it's really no stopping you. So, him being an extraordinary nigga and, and, and a lot of times when we hear a black man talk a lot we'll automatically take that as intelligence just because he talks a lot 
um, that wasn't a smart move. I feel like if as street niggas, one thing that we as street niggas have over the internet niggas is we actually know what the police and the, the pretty much the government's motive is because we've been around these white boys and they was locked up the same way we was. And they told us it's not really about race, even though we know it's about race, but it's more about the enemy that we both have is the authority. They're not for you. Your demise is pretty much their whole mission. Why the fuck, in this point in your career, why would it be important unless, what I'm saying, you were uncomfortable? You were uncomfortable. You look at, see Murder sitting there, um, if I'm not mistaken, I, I think seeing Matt there, Big dogs. Why would you shield your? I think it's. I think it's deeper here, cause that's not smart. That's not smart. And I want to give. I want to give them. You know what I'm saying? More than I'm just. A, you know what I'm saying? Like, why in the fuck with this? Like, these niggas ain't on this. They not on this. Even more to it. If you know, if you connect to anybody in uh, Louisiana, or better yet, uh, connected to the prison system, anybody who's been in a facility would see murder. You know how he moving there, and you also know this from the outside. You know he's trying to get out that motherfucker. It looks good when people come and visit him, uh, people of notoriety come and visit him. But we also have to know in our mind that they don't want to let him out. So when people of notoriety, like, uh, of course, let's say Jay-Z, meet me or going for prison reform, but going in this motherfucker and acting like a dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a straight dog, nigga, give a fuck about nothing, nigga. Hell, you know, y'all big rat. You know what it is, fuck, nigga. You acting like NBA young boy. All these niggas at this table know what you got money. We probably be planning on what we going to Like, why in the fuck would you bring this goddamn money out and flex right now? Are you... Are, you weren't flexing on them. You weren't flexing on them. And we can have a deeper conversation about, you know, Master P money. And, and we know that he's still, I think, because you, you don't know that he still got a allegiance to see murder so obviously he still got he still linked with the money I just don't know why in the fuck this would be a I'm just trying to think this shit out why in the fuck were you doing it because you had to listen to me Enter whatever person you want to enter in these places. Whatever whatever set you claim, whatever like that. The big dogs in that set, they can just stand in the picture. They face alone is worth a nigga holding a whole fucking nigga a whole bag of money. They face alone just sitting there. They ain't got to show shit, no jury, no nothing. Just them being in the picture. Just, just them. They presence alone. A nigga, in order to get the respect and the notoriety that this that this nigga has, they would have to have a video, porn money. But it's still a, nigga. That's just money. That money don't. You see money every day. You don't see me every day. Were you trying to match up to these men in this picture? See, murder can sit there. My face alone means something. My face alone means something. You sitting at the table with big dogs. And I think what that picture really say for real is 
this is why I'm here. Not because of who I am, but because of what I have. If I didn't have this, I couldn't even stand at this table. That's, that's, whoo. That's, that's, now we going in street politics now. Because we all know niggas who couldn't be in certain places if they didn't have a secret link right here. If they didn't make some type of dummy move. Street niggas been had money. And the street niggas will stay in control of certain places. It's the rappers. It's the rappers. Who are like the peacocks. The clowns. The jesters. So much so to where you have real street niggas not even want to be around these niggas because they'll do shit like this. I'm trying to make parole on these fucking folks. And now you come in this bitch and get a violation and I ain't got nothing to do with it, but my name is involved. You know that this white bitch, as soon as the fucking parole come up, she gonna be saying, yeah, he's been doing pretty good. We had an incident where uh, contraband was brought in by one of his uh, visitors. Whoa, I ain't have, whoa, ma'am. That's been, that's been already handled, ma'am. He didn't already took, whoa, I ain't have nothing. You don't even want that on your name. You come up for parole, you won't squeak it clean. No violations. I ain't been a whole none. I've been walking to you. I ain't been doing nothing. Because this is my freedom. This is my freedom. When I'm talking about my freedom, you they better not bring up your fucking name in a, in a harmful way. Hold on, bro. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, dog, we're going to do that. At least we don't need... Whoa, come on, dog. You you got too much, too many eyes on you for that to even come out like that. This, this little bullshit infraction could cost me another five years, a whole another fucking parole day. Just because you feel unaccomplished. Because you feel like you got to compensate for your lack of street respect. Do what you got to do. You ain't here with prisoners and you still trying to... What you showing? What you showing? I stand with these men, just like these men, not above these men, but on side these men. And that's and, and see and it, and it just bring up a whole nother state of mind because it reminds you of a bitch when you get locked up. Uh, go look at uh Rondo number nine. His uh his bitch. Her name is uh C G G Gotti. Um, she talking about some uh nah uh it took it took for us to be apart. She talking about him going to jail for forty years. And she said, it took for us to be a part for me to realize how stupid I was being. See, when you're in this situation, people know what this situation means. Really, you dead. The pictures of you are like ghosts. It's like pictures of ghosts. It's like... Yeah, he there, but he not really, he's not a factor. He's not real no more. So now, shit that you would never do on the street, now you can do this shit. Like, come on, dog. Come on, man. Because, you know, I, you know, you want to fuck with gays because the music is just so, but come on, man. We got to be, because it's, dog, it, it, if you've been in that situation where another person's actions have fucked up your court date. Have fucked up your parole date. Fucked up your probation. And you feel that shit, man. It, it, it is, we just gotta, but see, this is that rap shit. You get so used to, if there's a camera around, I gotta, but see, Kevin used to be like that. Used to be when a, when a picture come out, he just, and get the fuck out of that, no emotion. 
but now he didn't turn into this Instagram talkative nigga. And I guess you have to evolve because it's a new game and, and that, and I guess there's no way for you to stop that because the further you get away from this place, it don't matter if you go back to this place and you're not going to stay there. If you're successful, you're not going to stay there. There's no way you can do it. Not to stay alive. Listen to Future. Listen to his music. Um. So, when I was hanging with these niggas, I was sounding like this and I was acting like this. To the cold, straight to the point. Now that I'm around these people, I can blow my, I can fucking dye my hair blonde. And just be talkative. I, I heard, I was listening to this nigga talk about his fucking teeth and shit like that. And it remind, and it's just, I don't know. Like maybe I do the same. I, I just, it just, it just reminded me so much of a person. Just like, why the fuck? Why are you on here? Like, what, what are you doing this because they told you to do it? Like, why did you come online for? Uh, you know, but you gotta fuck with Gates because I, I, I can see he's, he's really. He, you know, he's a Louisiana nigga, and he was out there, but this this entertainment shit, success in the entertainment industry will and can, you know, turn people into something else. So what it is, what it is, you know, it's 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 just all in itself, you know. When you're a street nigga, you look at the camera in one way. As a rapper, you look at the camera in another way. And when I say street nigga, I mean street nigga that's going through shit. Um, as a street nigga, you should always be thinking that a camera on the other side of that camera is the feds, is the police trying to get evidence. Um, we've came such a long way from that for whatever fucking reason, even though more than ever now they pull up our social media at our court dates. I'm not sure why in the fuck. We've strayed away from being afraid of cameras. But you have to let everyone know how much you got. You're not flexing, you're not flawed, you really got this money to spend like this. Any bitch you want to go on a trip, you can take a hoe, you just that nigga. You walk tall because everybody knows that you got it. And you just gotta keep reminding them on each and every fucking picture that you got this fucking money. And it, it, it's always on you. And that's the rap trap. That's the rap trap. Even when it's not in your best interest. Here it is. So think about that. Hopefully uh, this shit don't end in nobody's further incarceration or new incarceration um gates if you don't if you don't get out this goddamn media dog if you don't get out this damn like because you've been in the media a little bit too much lately if you don't got this media dog somebody end up happening to you dog i'm just gonna say that because I'm, I'm starting to hear your name a little bit too much I'm starting to see you a little bit too much you need to back up a little bit you need to back up Rap Trap, I'm going to say go make sure you hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Love. <laughs>